this, this video that I've seen scrolling across TikTok. It's gotta be some of the stupidest fucking shit that I ever heard in my life. We gonna, we gonna take a listen to, to this and I'm gonna give you my thoughts on this situation. Convicted of stabbing her woman right there, convicted of stabbing her boyfriend to death, only gets a slap on the wrist. She faced the possibility of life in prison for stabbing him 108 times. But the judge ruling that she had no self-control while in a cannabis-induced psychosis. Top psychosis. Never in my life heard of that. That is fucking stupid as fuck. I know a lot of people that smoke weed. I partake myself. I ain't never in my motherfucking life smoked so much weed or ate so many edibles that I wanted to fucking stab somebody. We we don't we don't keep listening. Todd Pyro is live in the studio with the shocking details. Todd. This is a head scratcher, Ainsley. The judge. I ain't no fucking head scratcher. It's fucking stupid. Sentencing 32-year-old Bryn Speecher to 100 hours of community service, two years probation. 100 hours of community service and two years of probation after she stabbed her boyfriend 108 times because of marijuana. And the big one, no jail time. She broke down in tears after a jury convicted her of involuntary manslaughter last month. California judge claimed... She should have been convicted of involuntary manslaughter. That should have been her charge. She had no control over her actions after stabbing the victim, Chad Omelia, 108 times. Psychiatrists in the case claim... 108 times because of weed. The incident was, quote, 100% caused by cannabis-induced psychosis after the 32-year-old took two hits from the victim's bong. She expressed remorse during... Two hits, two hits of weed out of the bong made her go into some cannabinoid psychosis and she fucking stabbed her boyfriend 108 times and all she got is probation and house arrest, I believe they said. That is fucking outrageous. Like seriously, that is fucking outrageous. I don't know who in their fucking right mind ever let her off on this, talking about some uh, marijuana induced psychosis or whatever that is fucking garbage that is trash as fuck I've done smoked blunts on blunts on top of dabs on top of edibles and I have never in my life even thought about fucking murdering somebody off of some weed like no no closing statement saying quote I wish I had known more about the dangers of marijuana had I known I would never have smoked the dangers of marijuana is you're going to go into the fucking fridge or the pantry and fuck that shit up and probably forget what you had to do and take a motherfucking nap. Or you might even get some shit done. Shit. I have no. You know. The only dangerous thing about having marijuana is having it and the cop stopping you. Which, not here where I live, it's, it's medical and medicinally legal. But that's the most dangerous thing about marijuana. For real, like I, 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 I honestly want to know what the fuck weed they are smoking, because this is some, some. I don't even know. These motherfuckers is ignorant, ignorant as fuck. I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't know. That night or at all. Omalia's family shocked and angry over the sentencing yesterday. The victim's father accusing the judge of being biased. I'd be shocked and angry too. I'd be pissed the fuck off. You got me fucked up. You just killed my son or my brother or whatever and stabbed him 108 times. And then you blame it on hitting a bong two times. The reason why you stabbed him 108 times and you ain't getting no jail time. What the fuck type of shit is that? I've never in my life heard no shit like that. Ever. Saying, quote, he just gave everyone in the state of California who smokes marijuana a license to kill someone. The woman and the victim were dating for only a few weeks before his death. No, because ain't nobody that's smoking marijuana about to, oh, let me go, or let me go. No, they're about to be like, oh, let me go chill the fuck out. Let me watch this TV. Let me play the game. Let me go make some food, you know, like, ain't, ain't nobody about to smoke no weed and then just go kill nobody. Especially not two hits off a goddamn bong. Unless it was laced with some other shit. You got me fucked up.
Tim, we're in 2018. Police arrived on scene to find Speecher in a pool of blood near the victim's body. She also attempted to stab herself in the neck before being taken away. Yeah, she tried to kill herself because she realized what she did. Or she probably knew what she did the whole time. It was probably supposed to be a murder-suicide. She just was trying to blame it on the weed because they got there before she could kill herself. But that's some crazy-ass shit, man. And she ain't bad looking either. But that bitch crazy than a motherfucker, man. Being taken away. Well, that's the end of the video right there. But goddamn, that shit is crazy as fuck. Like, I don't understand how the fuck you can say smoking some weed made you stab your boyfriend 108 times that just don't make no sense to me like that don't make even the slightest little bit of sense to me whatsoever i don't i don't understand that logic or or any of that shit because boy i've been high as giraffe pussy up in the sky floating on cloud 39 and the last thing that was on my mind was killing somebody that shit just don't make no sense to me I had to give y'all my thoughts on that. It's been uh, Vaughn's Thoughts with your host, Vaughn Charles. Give me a like, subscribe, slap a comment down there, you know. Hope y'all have a good one. Peace and love.